Hello YouTube, welcome to my video series. This is the first video, the introduction video. I don't think I'm going to do any painting in this video. I'm just going to give you kind of an overview of what the series is going to be about. Um, this is actually my first ever YouTube video. So please comment and let me know how I'm doing. Um, uh, this is uh, going to be a series on beginning painting War Machine. Dun, dun, ding. Uh, yes, War Machine is my game of choice, um, but the the uh, the painting advice and techniques I'm going to share with you in this series can be used for other games as well, such as Warhammer or Lord of the Rings or whatever your game of choice happens to be. Uh, this series is just for beginners. Uh, because I consider myself to be not much more than a, a beginner. I mean, I've been painting for about a year, and I think I'm okay, but I also feel like I'm only just now getting comfortable painting models and feeling confident in my work enough to show them on the internet. Um, one thing I really hope to accomplish with this series is to, uh, to show other beginning painters some of the mistakes I made, and how they can avoid them, how they can avoid spending a lot of money <laughs> in, in places they really don't need to, um, and how not to ruin their models. Because I, I, definitely, I definitely sacrificed a few along the way. Um, so, and another thing I hope to accomplish is to kind of solicit advice from, from experts and professionals. Um, I know there's a lot of really good painters on YouTube, uh, and uh, it's, it's pretty helpful to watch some of the painting tutorials, but I think that I've been looking for a really good video series to kind of give you from beginning to end how to totally get started. And there's a lot of things that I think are important that just aren't addressed. For example, this is a really expensive hobby. I mean, there's, there's more expensive hobbies out there, but I, I think for someone like me that doesn't really make a whole lot of money. I'm still, you know, I'm a college student, so I don't have a lot of disposable income. Honestly, I don't have the disposable time to do all the painting I do, uh, but I manage. Um, it, there, There's certain things that you can do and ways you can save money that really aren't addressed, I think, in YouTube videos and other things too, and we'll get to all that. Um, I just wanted to introduce this series and uh, kind of give you a feel for where I am and what what these videos are going to touch on. Um, let me go ahead and show you kind of where I'm at in my painting. Uh, I can show you a couple of things I've done recently. Here, I'll show you the. I'll show you my. Oh boy, <laughs> here's a uh, Minoth Heavy War Jack. Get the light right. This is a Minoth, uh, I believe this is the Crusader. Um, this one I went with the kind of traditional suggested colors for Minoth. The white and that sort of maroon red color um, with bronze highlights. You can see I, I did a metallic finish on that. I really like that color a lot. And I'll tell you more about the colors I've used in a later video I just want to kind of give you an overview and let you see what I've been up to this past year. I, I really would like some opinions on these um, just you know again what I could be doing better what techniques I could make use of that I maybe don't know if any experts are out there watching and noticing. Uh, this is an orc. I don't play 40k but I I mean, painting really is more of my hobby than playing. And uh, I just saw this guy at my local store, and he just really needed some love. <laughs> so I picked him up and um, went to town on him. He's one of my favorites, I think. Um, let me see, he's uh, got some blood on his on his teeth there. Like he's been chewing on somebody, and his claw has some some. Uh, I did a gloss, a gloss red on that, so it looks kind of fresh. Um, 
yeah, I think he turned out pretty pretty well. Some of the details on, I don't know what his standard. I don't know what this is. I don't like. I said I don't play Warhammer. I just really like the orcs. Um, so, uh, like I said, I'll be doing a uh, Kado or Warjack for this video. The Juggernaut here. Um, he's already been primed in white. <clears throat> I'm not going to start him in this video. I'll probably start him in two more videos. Um, and I've been I've been kind of putting off doing this one because he's he's helped me a lot in battle, and I want to make him the uh, the star of my army because he's a you know he's a winner. He deserves a great paint job. Um, I've done some other Cador models. I'll let you know that I'm not doing the traditional paint scheme on them. I'm using a uh, blue and a uh, blue and white. The lighting in this room isn't great. I need to fix it. So the uh, the blue looks kind of gray on here, I know. Um, so this is a Man of War Shock Trooper. You can see the dry brushing I did on his shoulder pads. I don't think it turned out very well at all. But I'm probably my own worst critic. Um, here is the last War Jack I did for them. It is uh, the Destroyer. I think he turned out pretty well. Let me see uh, some of the battle damage I I tried to put on him. I don't think it <laughs> didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped. But um, you can see he's a little rusty on his on his rivets. And uh, yeah, so this is where I'm at now. You guys let me know what you think. Um, I will try to be gracious with any criticism that you want to give me and, and not be too proud to accept it. As long as it's, you know, constructive criticism. Don't be mean. And I will try to, uh, I will try to be nice to all of you as well. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope you will watch the next one too. Goodbye.